Hello everyone. In this video I'll be talking with you about the current divider formula and I'll be deriving that using the node voltage method. So to begin with you have um, a direct current source here so I've named that IDC and you, so you have IDC feeding IR1 and IR2 for resistors R1 and R2 respectively. <clears throat> and so what I've also used here is I've used the fact that since this is a parallel circuit, whatever voltage develops over R1 will be equivalent to the voltage that develops over R2. So for starters, we have a situation where I'll be using KCL, uh, Kirchhoff's current law, which is a, um, a current law that tells you IDC equals I of R1 plus I of R2. It's a conservation law. Next, I'll keep IDC in there because that's something that we want to keep. Our main goal here is to get um, IDC, R1, and R2, and one of these two uh, branch currents here, okay? And say what I of R1 will be in terms of uh, R1, R2, and IDC, or what will I of R2 be in terms of IDC, R1, and R2? So we'll go ahead and we'll use the fact that VA over R1 is going to give us I of R1. Also, VA, the same voltage that both of these resistors share, uh, again is going to give us um, VA over R2 is going to give us I of R2. So next what we'll do is we'll proceed on and we'll bring out VA and so we have 1 over R1 plus 1 over R2. Okay, next thing we'll do is get a common denominator for R1 and R2 and add both of them up. So now we have IDC equals VA times R1 times R2, our common denominator and on the top we'll have R2 plus R1. Next we'll bring over R1 and R2 to this side. Uh, we'll bring this whole expression over to this side and so now we have IDC times R1 R2 over R2 plus R1 equals VA. And so we're going to keep uh, using this expression here for any which one of these two that we need to get, either I, IR1 or IR2. And so what we'll do is we'll take notice of the fact that again VA over R1 is going to be equal to IR1. Well, what is VA? Now it's in these terms here, the terms that we want to have it in. So, uh, what we'll do is we'll put that expression in there and so we have IDC R1 R2 over R2 plus R1 all of that over R1 which will give us I of R1. Next we'll take notice of the fact that this, uh, by dividing it over R1, is equivalent to multiplying it by 1 over R1, so that means that R1 will effectively cancel out. And so what we are left with, make some more room here, okay, what we are left with is that IDC times R2 over R1 plus R2 equals I of R1. Okay, next we'll use this expression again, taking notice of the fact that VA, first we did VA over uh, R1 is going to give us I of R1. Now we're going to do VA over R2 gives us I of R2. Okay, so again, we'll use this expression here 
and we'll say IDC times R1 over R2 divided by R1 plus R2, all of that over R2 will give us I of R2. And again, we have the same situation here where R2 cancels out and we're left with R1 on the top. So simplifying that, that gives us IDC times, uh, what did we have cancel out? We had R2 cancel out and we were left with R1 over R1 plus R2 gives us I of R2. So that is the derivation of our uh, current divider formula. Uh, we'll be using these anytime we have a situation where we have current divider and we want to know what is the current down this branch of the circuit or down that branch of the circuit, we'll have this situation. So that completes it for this topic of uh, the video today on current divider formula, uh, derivation by using the node voltage method. And so hopefully this video was helpful for you. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.